My philosophy for social media and using it for business development is pretty simple. And the reason why I say simple is because the world of so social media has become so complex. And I think if you can break it down to being simple and having fun with it, then I think you can really have some direct results, quick results, and actually impact your bottom line right away. One of the reasons why I call it strategic language in social media is because of the fact that you've identified a reason or a purpose for calling. One of the reasons why people get sidetracked or fear comes into play is when you say cold calling. Cold calling is one of those things that naturally is going to create fear. It's going to create doubt in your mind that you can actually generate a result. The difference is when you've identified a strategy or a reason for calling, you no longer have that fear. Because you can reach out, you can congratulate somebody on their success. You have the connection that you can make to an old relationship. You eliminate the fear and you focus on the expectation that you will get a result. So some of the legwork that I do for social media and how I identify prospects is pretty simple as well. I work with a sports psychologist who really developed a plus one factor. And what that plus one factor does is to help you break down what can be very overwhelming. So with social media, you might have 800 contacts on social media. You're not going to go and research 800 people or make 800 points of contact. But every single day you could go on and do the research and make the connection to one person a day. And if you look at your ideal market or your ideal prospect, and you take it one day at a time, one prospect at a time, you can get some considerable results. But the key is you have to have courage to make the point of contact to those individuals. If you just research somebody and do nothing with it, you can't expect a result. But some of the language that I've developed, which we'll share later, gives you the opportunity to get results quickly through social media. So I think where the awkwardness in social media comes into play is you have so many individuals who are there trying to find what is the best way, what is the, the, the most significant manner in which I'm going to generate a result, to generate referrals. And people go to what they think is easy, which is I'll print out a list, which is this thick, with 2,000 LinkedIn connections that, that an individual has, and they present that to somebody. So I always think, imagine if somebody did that to you, how overwhelming, the amount of work you would think that would take. So break it down for the individual. Take the time for you to do the work. Rather than putting a list of 2,000 people in front of somebody which generates work for them, why don't you take a step back and perform the research? Identify five people that you have a connection to that they have a connection to as well. And then you can use the simple language of letting them know, I couldn't believe it. We had so much excitement in our first opportunity to work together. I was so excited about coming back to be with you again. And I actually did some research on LinkedIn. And I identified that there were five individuals that I've had the intention of contacting over the last three months. I've been procrastinating. I'm probably going to get to it over the next week or two. But I noticed that you knew them as well. Typically what happens in that manner, you're not asking for the referral. What you're doing is you're letting them know you're already going to be contacting them anyway. It releases the tension, there's no pressure, and oftentimes you'll actually see that nominator or that client actually start to talk about those individuals. And then it's just a very calm and relaxing, would you mind when I contact them if I mention that we've had the opportunity to work together? Typically a, a really great way to get results and to get them quickly. So one of the, the key pieces of language that I utilize with social media really speaks to the fact that there is this awkwardness when bridging the gap between friend or connection and business. And I learned this lesson several years ago when I was working with some interns. And one intern in particular, she said she had this wonderful connection. She had reached out to a friend over Facebook. They talked for an hour. And by the end of the conversation, she said she brought up business. And on the other end of the line, she heard a click. And what that taught me and what it taught her is that she knew the real reason why she had contacted that friend was not to reconnect. It was for business purposes. So I think the most important thing that you can do is to be up front that you thought about the person for business first. So try this language. You contact and you say, Joey. I wanted to reach out to you because I was thinking about the fact I've done some research. You are running a very successful business and congratulations on doing so. 
It just so happens that I'm working with lots of business owners these days. I'm very passionate about my business, and I think there are some ways that I can help you. Secondly, I can't believe it's been five years since we connected. And if there's nothing I can do for you for business, I would love the opportunity to connect, see what's going on in your life, and have the opportunity to just catch up. What I think you do here is there's no misleading. There's no, you're not being sneaky. It's you're being forward. You're saying, Joey, I thought of you for business. Also, we haven't talked to each other in a while. Bring the friendship into it, but lead with business first. People know what your intentions are. One of my favorite examples when it comes to utilizing social media is realizing that your expectation is oftentimes what can drive the result. And I think to the language that I've provided for an email, and I reconnected with a very successful business owner, and that successful business owner was an old friend. I used the exact language that I've provided as a guideline, and the result was a response which indicated I knew that you were in this field. I knew that you had actually been working with people for business and financial services, but I never reached out to you. The key there is they're never going to reach out to you. You still have to take the action step, even if it's friends that know what you do. But the result was he said he needed help with business, and then he said, and I really appreciate the fact that you actually reached out to me because it has been way too long. And I think the result that we got there was that he realized, I do need some help with business, and it's also great to catch up. Had I led with the old, hey, let's go grab a cup of coffee and then hit him with business, the result might not have been as strong.